I'm going to show you how to repair a rip in a diaphragm. This diaphragm is out of a 65 Chrysler, but will work on diaphragms that are used in motorcycle carburetors or anything that's actually rubber. All you're going to need for this repair is some Plasti Dip. I'm going to use some paint brushes that are disposable. They're a dollar or something at Walmart for 30 and some super glue, but the super glue you want to get is uh, some that uses this chemical right here. It's a cyclist silenade. It bonds rubber really good and uh, some alcohol. Doesn't matter the proof, but to clean where you're going to put your adhesive. If your diaphragm's in a case, you're gonna need to use a pair of channel locks and slowly bend the edge around it and work your way completely around it, bending the edge a little bit at a time until you can get the top off. And uh, that's the leak. Clean your area thoroughly to get rid of any greases or any residue that's on there with uh, rubbing alcohol and make sure it's dry. I recommend this super glue because it has a brush and what you're wanting to do is just get the bare minimum on there to glue this back together. Don't coat the whole area with it because super glue is hard and won't flex like rubber. So you want to get as little as possible to hold the split together. Okay, now that that's on there, let it dry for about an hour or so. As I said, try not to get a lot on the outside. Try to get it just in the center because it'll make that spot hard and not as really any flex. Now what you want to do is take your Plasti Dip and spray it in some sort of container so you can paint it on. And you want to paint it on over top that, if you can, do a couple layers. And uh, if it's a motorcycle car boot, you can actually just Plasti Dip the whole thing. But you also got to realize it's going to make it a little harder for the vacuum to pull. Plasti dip won't separate from rubber, so you don't have to worry about that. But from where I've got metal in here, I'm just painting the spot with a couple layers. Now it's uh, set up, and I went through around the edge of this and turned it down. I just bent it up enough to get past, and I went through and lubricated it. This is Sil Glide. This is actually silicone lubricant, even though it says it's for brakes and get it the auto zone. I lubricated this rod here because it slides in and out of, the, of rubber. And silicone lubricant's the only lubricant you can use on uh, rubber and it be guaranteed to be fine. Lithium will work sometimes, but sometimes if it's made up of the wrong stuff, it can eat away the rubber. But here we go, I'm gonna vacuum Get it attached to the port back there and we'll see if it moves. Look, as you can see, when I pull a vacuum on it, it pulls a vacuum. And mind you, I didn't put any sealant around the edges, but if you did a sloppy job of prying up the factory crimp, you could coat that with silicone. It's not gonna look the best, but it'll seal it back together and let it set up overnight. Or if you do a good job of taking off the factory crimp, you can uh, you can reuse that and just bend it back down. Now, um, if this helped you in any way, please leave a like and share with your friends and uh, subscribe. I could use it. Later, guys.